Hey everybody, today's video is going to have some really significant value to a lot of home distillers. Um, the Viver three-pot steel system is a very commonly purchased uh, steel by new distillers because of the entry-level price point. It's very affordable. But because of that, as we all know, sometimes you get what you pay for. The design does have some inadequacies, and one of those inadequacies is an undersized condenser. This pot has a copper coil type condenser, and it's a little too small, and it's hard to adjust flow rate. Um, but one of the members in our Moonshine for Beginners group has solved that problem with his Viver Steel, and he's shared it on video today. It's a great DIY video. He takes you step by step how he made a larger condenser very cheaply and very easily. So check this out. Hey everyone, uh, if you bought the Vivor 3 pot uh, still and you're having issues fixing uh, or with overflow on your condenser, cheap, well, relatively cheap, price of copper basically, uh, you can upgrade it to um, something that works a little better. Um, just using a five gallon bucket and some copper tubing and a pipe bender, a drill bit and the existing fittings. So uh, watch and follow along if you need to. So we got our five gallon bucket and copper pipe, the pipe bender. I'm using a empty pickle jar for a form. So to keep the shape of the pipe, uh, our drill bit, and then we'll need a, a uh, flare tool to uh, flare out the fittings to use for that we take off our existing um, condenser so um, I went ahead and started this and just slide that on there and slowly work it around um, make sure you take your time you don't want to kink your copper um, and I'll uh, update you on the progress so here's it in progress I got five coils wrapped on there so far uh definitely helps to straighten out the copper pipe some and then again the jars holding the frame and there we have just about the finished product the only thing we're going to do now is put a bend in here and have it come up so that it comes up out of our bucket well expand those coils so we get some good water flow in between and pop some drill holes in there and we should be about set to put the fittings on all right so now we're just gonna get in there and pull these coils apart some so we can get some water flow in between to help condense our vapor Looks pretty good there. Well, and here we'll bend this out and have it pop through the bucket. So it turns out when I uh, wrapped the pipe, the coils were too tightly spaced here. And when I put it in the bucket, it wasn't, it was only sitting down about here. So uh, I just grabbed a scrap piece of two by four and uh, Stuck it into there and wind out those gaps there. So it looks nice and uniform. Coil exited and then over here we had the two uh, water circulation ports. Um, and we'll put those into the side of our five gallon bucket also. All right, time to put our holes in for our drain line for the condensed vapor to come out. And I'm thinking about there Maybe about an inch off the bottom of my bucket and the copper line that came with the Viver sales was 3 ace OD copper so make sure you use a 3 ace bit otherwise your hole will be too big and it'll leak and spill water everywhere or too small and 
you'll end up having to re-drill it. So we got our hole drilled and now we'll need to uh, straighten out the lower end of the condenser to uh, beat out the hole. You'll again want to make sure you're using your pipe bender otherwise your copper pipe will crimp. Okay so it uh, went through there nice and tight. Uh, only thing is is with putting it that inch off the ground it's wants to uh, not sit level and then your uh, condensed vapor will pull back on the back side of your coil and it'll eventually build up and spurt out but not lead to a very good flow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it up get that level and uh, on the outside here we will uh, secure the coil to the outside with some copper wire I have laying around. There's a couple holes through the side of the rim there and wrap it around and twist it tight. And that should work as far as keeping it relatively stable in inside the bucket. So I got my holes drilled here and just ran some copper wire through. It's just leftover electrical wire I had just clipped off a piece and pulled one of the strands out I didn't have the ground one that's why this stuff has the the sheathing on it I don't think it really matters it's not coming in contact with the vapor so I'm going to uh, pull them through and twist them tight and then um, here in the in the in between to get that pulled tight I'll twist that with a screwdriver and uh, get it all spun up tight so it's holding the the coil level okay so as you can see i got those tied up it's pretty secure in there it's gonna bounce around but it's in water so what's what's the difference um we'll need to put some caulking around here so it doesn't leak but that's a nice tight fit and uh only thing we really have yet to do is to flare out um, the end of our pipe here and uh, we'll be using the flare tool it's a 3 8 so we'll just open her up and put it onto the 3 8 hole and uh, tighten it down and then we have the other piece of the flare tool that actually flares it out and that will uh, well, before we do that, we have to cut off our fitting. All right, so here we have the fitting. I cut it off the old condenser, and we're going to unscrew the lower piece here, and uh, we'll slip that onto our pipe, and uh, then we will flare it out using the flare tool, and uh, everything should slide together nicely. <laughs> And there we have the finished uh, end pipe. So I have to get the caulking, and I'm thinking I'll put the water lines on this side since that works good for where I have my setup located. So here we have the removed uh, water flow valve uh, off the old condenser pot um, took them off there pretty straightforward you put it together in the package yeah pretty simple to take it apart um, again I'm gonna put them uh, higher on the pot we'll have fresh water coming in um, on the top and then uh, we'll have our cold water leaving down below all right so we got our water uh, 
in and out line or valves connected so you can tr control the water coming in and out um, I guess the main thing I'd say is I did have to change to a, a different step bit the one I was using previous was a little bit too small um, just a little bit at a time to make sure you don't make your holes too big um, and now you just need to put a little caulking around there and we are done there you have the completed uh, condenser uh, that is 20 feet of copper uh, coil in there um, three ace OD as opposed to that one there is still the same size copper but that had nine feet of coil in 